Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Bondi Snapshot. Very excited as this week's guest is the state's first ever female attorney general. An eastern suburbs local, a great supporter of Bondi businesses and a dear friend of mine, the Honourable Gabrielle Upton. Hello and Gabrielle, thank you so much for joining us here. It's my pleasure it's good to chat with you, mary -Ann. I'd like to take you back a little bit and if you can share with us a little bit about your journey to get to where you are today. Well, it was a long journey. Mm. Lived in the States for a while, studied, then worked, had a young child. But I think the crystallising moment for me was having lived in the States, mm. realising I couldn't vote and recognising what or how important that was mm. to be able to vote in the country in which you spend your life. Can you give a word of advice? Because there's a lot of women out there who would possibly like to go into politics or actually just into the higher levels of the corporate world. If you want to do something, you reach for it. Mm. And like any job, when times are a bit tough, there's a bit something rather challenging you have to do. I think the thing that keeps me going, and I can only speak from my own mm. experience, is the fact that I really love what I do. Uh, it is a calling rather than mm. just a job. And I'm very lucky because I think not everybody finds a calling in their life to do mm. something. As a woman in politics, I'm the first state attorney general. Mm. Um, I don't believe I was in any disadvantage. I always think it's a stronger position for women to be in um, when you are given the opportunity because you have the skills to be able to do the job mm. and then what you do with it from there is really your own, uh, of your own making. Just coming back to your local connections, obviously you serve your electorate incredibly well. Can you touch on a few of those local relevant issues for you at the moment? Well, being a minister mm -hmm. um, doesn't ever distract you from the most important job that you have, which is representing your local mm -hmm. community. At the moment, we've got a couple of issues mm -hmm. which won't surprise you. Um, we have some bus routes mm -hmm. that are being consulted on for whether they should be moved. We have a great harbour where there are ferry services and I'd really like to have more ferry services for Double Bay. Is there any talk potentially of connecting Bondi with the ferry? That's something that, that I'm interested in. Uh, there isn't a bus service at the moment, mm. but the whole idea that people could go from Bondi and not that far away, go mm. to Rose Bay and pick up a ferry, uh, would open up a whole new mode of transport for the people of Bondi. Being the first female Attorney General, what an amazing achievement, congratulations. But can you talk us through some of the challenges that you face and possibly some of the highlights that you've managed to achieve in that period of time? So as a community, we've got a really big focus mm. on domestic violence. Mm. And so last week in Parliament, I introduced a bill which was passed in the lower house. It still has to go to the upper house to mm. be approved. That did something I thought was incredibly important. And it was to recognise that domestic violence doesn't have to be a physical act of violence. It can be something that involves controlling mm. a victim. And it means that women primarily, mm. although there are men that also are victims of domestic violence, will feel they're in a situation where they can have everybody in the community understand that it doesn't have to be a physical act of violence, but it might be somebody harassing them on the phone. Mm. It might be somebody who um, is trying to control their bank accounts. That all of those things go to the heart of what domestic violence is, which is a coercing or controlling approach which someone in their household, who they're in a domestic relationship, mm. Um, has or seeks to do with them. That is a fantastic move and well done. Thank you very much for that. Just wanted to finish up, I suppose, by saying, what does the future hold for you? Mm. Wow. <laughs> well, I know that life's going really fast yeah. and we're almost halfway through the year. Can you believe it? I kind of chunk things. I say, mm. oh, what am I going to do in the next six months? We're going to do, in my um, job as Attorney General, we're going to do... Um, a really important job of making sure that our criminal justice system mm. works a bit faster than it does at the moment. Locally here, um, it's making sure that I can make myself as available as I can to local people. Um, with family, I suppose always the challenges you would have in your life is making sure that with that balance of your professional work, which you love, making time for two teenage kids. I think more and more as I get older and older, I'm actually trying to to think in smaller blocks now rather than thinking one year, two year, mm. five years ahead. Because as you get a little bit older, you realise that life is very fragile and precious and you see people who pass away, people who have um, real challenges mm. in their day-to-day -day life. And I think that's made me even think a little bit smaller now to think 
this is a good week, this is a good day, my family as well, mm. I love my job and actually things are, are pretty good. Thank you so much, Gabrielle. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Mary Ann. It's great to join you. Thank you for all the work you do for our local businesses here. Thank you, Gabrielle. It was wonderful having Gabrielle Upton join me here today. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.